Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about Luria Bertani Media or LB Media. In the previous video lecture, if you guys remember, we talked about the Molar Hilton Media, Triptych Soy Agar Media, Nutrient Media, McConkey Agar Media, as well as we talked the Culture Media introduction as well. If you miss this video lecture, so go back to my channel and watch this video lecture. Today in this video lecture, we are going to talk about Luria Bertani or LB Media. So let's start the video. Now, what is Luria Bertani Media? Let's talk with the introduction. Luria Bertani media is actually a type of the culture media which we call it nutri nutrient rich media as well. Why? Because this media contain a lot of nutrient in the form of peptone, yeast, NaCl means in this form. This content actually providing nitrogen, carbon and uh, trace element all these component as well which is specially used for the bacterial growth and division. That's why we can say that it is actually what? It is the nutrient rich media. We also call that LB medium, Lasogeny broth medium and Luria Bertani as well. Now remember guys, uh, Luria Bertani media, we can make it broth, agar as well as semi-solid. Now it was discovered by Bertanis in 1951. That's why the name is Luria Bertani Media. Now, for what purpose we use this media? This media is specially used for the isolation of or for the cultivation of fastidious and non fastidious organisms. We can also use it for the isolation of Vibrio cholera species. But remember, guys, most of the researcher and most of the scientists use this media for the bacteriophages isolation as well as for in recombinant DNA technology. Means in this media, plaques are usually formed. Plaques are actually the zone of inhibition in which you will see bacteriophages. Inshallah, in some other slides, I will talk that what are actually plaques. So these are the uses of Luria Bertani media. Now let's talk the composition of this media. Remember guys, this media contained peptone 10 gram for 1 liter. This media contained yeast extract, NaCl and agar. Yeast extract and NaCl have 5 gram for 1 liter. NaCl uh, agar we have 15 gram for 1 liter and obviously distilled water 1 liter. And remember guys, if you want to make LB broth, so agar is not used and if you want to make semi-solid from this LB media, so half percent of agar is used. Now what are the principles of this media? Remember guys, as we talked that this media contain peptone. So peptone actually provides the nitrogen and carbon, which is specially used for the bacterial growth and division. These are actually the nutrient content for the bacterial growth. This medium also contains the yeast extract as you can see. Now uh, the presence of yeast extract it can provide vitamin B as well as some other certain um, uh, means uh, trace element as well. This media also contain NaCl which you know maintain the osmotic balance inside the cell. In this case the NaCl is specially used for uh, to make the bacterial cell and bacteriophages become charges. So the bacterial cell and phage when they are charged, I mean opposite charges are uh, occur between them. So due to this way, the bacteria and bacteriophages are easily connected with each other. Moreover, we can also use the magnesium chloride in this medium as well. Remember guys, the magnesium chloride is also, you know, acting as a what we can say that it is also you know providing a charge on bacteria as well as on bacteriophages as well as this media also contain agar which is acting as a solidifying agent if you make broth so no need agar okay then how we can prepare it again if you have the ingredient if you if you do, do not have the bottle 
uh, which is commercially available so mix all the ingredients which we talked in the previous slide and then uh, heat mix it autoclave it and use it if you have the bottle so weight 35 gram uh, with the help of weight balance and mix it into 1000 ml distilled water after that heat mix it using a uh, hot plate after that autoclave using autoclave machine and then pour it into petri plate at 60 to 50 centigrade now after that uh, inoculate and streak the bacteria now incubate the plate and then to after 24 hour incubation check the um, colony morphology as well as the plaque formation on the media so this is how we can prepare the media and use it now if we want to see the results of this uh, means the bacterial result on this media so remember guys this media as we talk we specially use it for the bacteriophages isolation and for recombinant DNA technology as well but if still we are talk about that the bacterial uh, examination on this media so most of the bacteria as we talked that um, uh, it can support the growth of every type of the bacteria but remember remember guys if if the bacteria grown on this media so each bacteria have shiny texture as well okay so just like if you want to see the E. coli on this media so it will be off white colonies having shiny texture pseudomonas have bluish green colony whitish colony with shiny texture have will be the eco enterobacter salmonella have grayish white colony with shiny texture as well Klebsiella have medium large mucoid colony with shiny texture abomone have circular half white colony with shiny texture similarly step aureus have also round yellow colonies with shiny texture and vibrio calderas have whitish colony with shiny texture so these are the growth of the bacteria on each media but it doesn't mean that we use this media for the bacterial isolation or for the bacterial identification it is specially used for the bacteriophages isolation and in recombinant DNA technology now these are the diagram as you can see these diagram actually explaining that the media characteristics as you can see the bacterial growth on each media but with with the bacterial growth you will also see the growth or uh, uh, you will also see the call uh, means uh, plaque formation is this is called the plaque now this zone as you can see clear zone it actually indicating that at that particular area the phages are available which can stop the bacterial growth okay this is the enterobacter growth and these are the plaques of the enterobacter these are the plaques of the salmonella and growth of the salmonella as well pseudomonas as we can see greenish cardoony step aureus have also round cardoony round uh, means uh, uh, although colonies uh, you can see the you, you just see the growth uh, means yellowish growth or uh, whitish growth of the vibrio as well so the same colony we also talked in the previous videos lecture means in case of the triptych y agar and in case of the Newton agar as well okay so this is all about the LB media I hope you guys get idea about that if still you have any confusion you can write your uh, question to a comment I will give you answer thank you so much for watching that video